In this quick tutorial I'm going to show you how to create a headline similar to this one, so let's go! This is our video that's having similar headline to what you see in this video and uh, basically this headline consists of three text elements. This is first one, this is the video repurposing just got uh, the first part of our headline. It's the font family passion one, 77 font size and it's placed like this. Then we are having this camera here and it's uh, all it is is just emoji of camera. So when I add a second camera to this, it will not display because the width of this container is uh, sized. But when I increase it, you can see second camera will be shown in our camera location. And that camera is having a rectangle underneath, which is in this size with 125 and height 70 pixels it's placed under the camera in the layer section and uh, in the canvas element and then we are having this third headline which is so much easier with those two arrows and that's basically all it takes to create a headline like this and what we can do now is to go into plain context editor with some video as you can see, this video is having a slightly bigger height than usual video. So we can click it and place it to the bottom. We don't have uh, captions in this video, so we can remove them. So we have uh, a little bit more working space in this video. And uh, we can try to reproduce this headline. So first thing we will do is, uh, type in, is to type in our headline for example five steps to be more productive okay as you can see this headline is quite long so we can splice it into two, two different parts as it is here so we can use five steps to be we will keep it in the first part of our headline and uh, more productive we will clone our headline place it underneath and type in type that type that headline in this section okay now we can add new text element which will be our emoji so for example we can select some something like target or i don't know goal or we can search for some emoji or maybe just go through the library and select something we like let's just say we will use this trophy right here okay so we can move it in front of our headline and make it smaller so decrease height and the width but we need to change our position to the left and change the width like this okay place it right over here and add our rectangle which we will place under our trophy maybe make it in a blue color for now and also decrease width and height of our rectangle place it over and now place it under the trophy in our layer section so let's just make it more interesting by playing and just a little bit with this maybe adjust our exposition exposition manually and y position something like this okay and maybe we, we can make it in golden color or something like that but probably the blue color was better so stick with blue color for, for now and change our headline font family to make it more interesting to maybe something like Alata or choose any of the font in this library and we can also make our 
emoji bigger so we can make it maybe something like this okay and our primary text also slightly bigger and more productive we want to have it uh, more catchy because that's the, the most important part of our headline probably so make it something like this and add some arrows pointing to do video we are having under that headline and this is just a quick showcase how to make something similar to this one font you use can make a huge difference so be sure you will find some font you like and that will make your headline more catchy so don't worry to use something really bold so you can make your headline more catchy okay i will just play with this uh, a little more to make it uh, more visually attractive from my perspective but I am not a designer, so hopefully you can get the point of what I wanted to achieve in this video. And uh, feel free to play with your Content Fries account and try to create something that you like. Okay, and this is uh, something that uh, I end up doing. Uh, this is uh, interesting from my perspective and hopefully all I changed is that I removed the arrows emojis that were in, in on the sides of this font and I choose uh, some handwritten font. It's Allura and the font size is 139. So this is something I like that can be uh, maybe scroll stopping and uh, catchy and hopefully uh, this tutorial can help you create uh, headlines that you will like more and that will grab the attentions of your viewers so thank you for watching this video and uh, feel free to let me know what you think and have a wonderful day